Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the baby shower. I'm gonna give you guys just our ideas, what we have so far, the invitations, and a sneak peek at just a few things that I've already made for the baby shower. For starters, our theme is kind of a nautical baby girl theme. And how I came up with that was, I, I knew that if I had a boy, the theme would be a nautical theme just because I work for a cruise line and I love anything that is just anchors and I thought that would be a really cute theme for a baby boy's baby shower. So during our gender reveal party, Yami from A Kids Who's Counting, she actually gave us a cute little outfit that was anchors and it was green and unisex and I was so excited to receive that because I absolutely love anchors. And I thought, you know, why wait to have a boy if I really like this theme? why not have a girly nautical theme? And that's basically what we went with. So the colors are white, navy blue, and pink, different shades of pink. I think everything is coming out really cute, and I'm just really excited for my baby shower to finally be here. So today is, let's see, today is April 7th, and my baby shower is going to be April 26th. So we do have some time and a few things that we don't know yet. I'm gonna try to add a clip at the end of this video because I do have to go see the venue tomorrow. And I'll try to film it and show you guys what it looks like, kind of just bare. We did rent it out just because last year, or when I was pregnant with Aria, my baby shower, we did it at a, at a church, at my mom's church. And it was just a hassle because we had to get the linen and we had to get the tables and then we had to get somebody to clean the place. We ended up paying somebody to clean. I mean, we did a lot of the cleaning, but just the deep clean. We got somebody to do it. And I was already exhausted at the end of the baby shower. It's just a hectic day. And I didn't want to have to worry about all that. So this is a really nice venue. It's by the base, so it's really pretty. And we basically had to put, we had to pay a fee of $100. And that includes cleaning, so it's a great deal. And a deposit of $500, which you do get back if nothing breaks. Hopefully, knock on wood, then nothing will break. And so I thought it was a good deal. It's cheap. We don't have to worry about anything. The tables are there. Everything's there. And it's just stress-free. And um, I'll go ahead and show you the invitations now. They're just, again, nautical, pink, and pretty. And I'll insert a clip now. Hey, guys. Just really quickly wanted to show you guys the baby shower invitation. I put a cute little pink diamond right there. And then just cute little diamonds here. And this is what it looks like. I'm just covering up the address. And it just says, Anchors Away, a baby girl's on the way. You're invited to a baby shower for Adriana Silva. And the date and the information are below. I actually wanted to know how to let my guests know that it was going to be a ladies-only invitation or a ladies-only baby shower. But I think just including my name and just putting their name in the in the front instead of the family or the husband's name. I think that is kind of clear. I didn't really want to write ladies only on the invitation. I thought that was a little rude. So hopefully they get the point with that. Let me know what you guys think. And this is the other side of the envelope. I've just made this cute little S and I put a little diamond there. I'm guessing the diamonds are gonna fall off in the mail, but hopefully some make it. And that's my invitation. So for food, I'm not sure what the main meal it's gonna be, but I do wanna make kind of a fruit salad that will be decorated like a big ship. So it's gonna be in some type of blue plate or something. I, I thought about doing a watermelon, but it's not gonna be a fruit salad with watermelon. It's gonna be that fruit salad, I forgot the name, that it's just, it has sour cream and coconut and all this good stuff. So I don't really wanna put it in a watermelon if it doesn't even have watermelon in it, but I was thinking of doing just a blue bowl and then making it look like a ship, like putting a steak and I'll go ahead and insert kind of what I'm trying to mimic, just a picture now so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about. But it basically ends up looking like a ship and it looks really nice and it helps decorate um, the table and it's also really yummy. And I'm actually going to ask my aunt to make that because that is her favorite thing to make. So she will enjoy making it and we will enjoy eating it. I also want to make these cute little, they look like jello shots, but they're obviously without alcohol, just blue jello. And also it looks like little ships with a little piece of orange and a little toothpick. And I'll insert a picture of that as well so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about and I just think that is the cutest thing. I may try to replace the orange with something else 
just because I want to do as much prep work beforehand as I possibly can and I think that's going to be a little difficult with the oranges and putting them in the refrigerator and all that so maybe I do it with the orange maybe I don't I'm still kind of trying to figure that out and that's about it I don't know what other foods we can have so if you guys have any ideas let me know but the main meal I'm going to be talking to my mom about that tomorrow so I'll go ahead and do another updated baby shower planning video and I'll let you guys know more about the food I also made a few crafts that I want to share with you they're basically the thank you cards that I literally made from scratch on PowerPoint a couple of you guys were asking that if I can sell it or something I can definitely send it to you it's not professional at all I've it kind of looks ugly on paper but when you print it out it looks pretty perfect and aligned but I mean I can email it to you guys I'm not gonna sell it or anything so if you're interested I can email it and you can change the information all you would need I guess it's Microsoft Office so you can edit everything in PowerPoint and I just put a cute little anchor on top and I also put a diamond there so those would be our favor I guess labels that I'm just gonna be doing cake pops and putting them in little plastic baggies kind of upside down with that little label card and then just tying it with a bow and also I made bingo cards and I've also made, what was the last thing I made? Oh, and I also made food labels, which are, I basically printed all this on just cardstock. So it's hard, thick paper, and it looks kind of nice. And I just love making all these things, so I'm super excited. And I'll show you guys all of that now. So here are the bingo cards that I made. And this is actually my favorite baby shower game. I did it at Aria's baby shower, and I loved it. Basically, each guest get one of these bingo cards and then you get to fill out what you think I'm going to receive as gifts. So you could put a onesie, baby bottles, shampoo, stroller, car seat, and so forth. And so as I'm opening the gifts, people are just playing bingo. And this is just fun because normally when people are opening gifts, it's just kind of a boring time for the guests. They don't really care and they're kind of just bored. So this is fun because it makes it exciting for them. And I also made these food label cards. Basically, I'm just going to be folding these in half and kind of just putting, placing them in front of everything. And I'll have sandwiches on one or cake pops on the other one or whatever it is that I'm going to be serving. And I made two sizes. I don't know if you can see it here. But I made just smaller ones right here and then bigger ones. And this is just because as I was making them, I wanted to fit for a page. And that's, I just made different sizes because of that, just to kind of optimize the cardstock paper. Then I also have filters here because I'm going to try to do, I always do tissue pom-poms, but I've been researching that you can also do them with coffee filters. So I got some here. Um, I'm going to make some white and then dye some of the filters pink and then make some pink and also with blue. So I haven't started that project yet, but hopefully soon. And then here's like my little craft box. And that's where I, I keep everything kind of just contained. Um, I also made these little thank you cards, which I'm going to be putting with the cake pops. And it's basically the favors that people get to take home. And this is the little label that I made. And it just says, thank you for coming to Adriana's baby shower, April 26th. And a cute little diamond right here. So I made these over the weekend. And then I also made these, um water bottle labels but I have one here to show you guys so I'll go ahead and show you that now and I also made these cupcake toppers that I place on top of all the finger foods and everything I'm not gonna be having cupcakes so they're actually not made for cupcakes but just you can stick them on anything and it helps decorate the tables really cute it's really easy to make and these are just little seahorses and these are just little anchors and then made these little stars as well this is what it looks like and I think that's it and here are the water bottle labels that I made and this is basically what they look like it just says Adriana's baby shower and the date and then just nutrition facts in the back and it says cuddles and snuggles and manufactured by mommy and daddy and it's just something cute and funny for them to read and I love how the water bottles kind of just decorate as well and it just makes it look cute. I might put little kind of a little bowl on here on the top, but I'm not sure about that. But how cute are these? 
I really like how they came out. And that's it, guys. So that's it, guys. That's basically everything we have so far. I've already purchased napkins and plates and silverware. We basically have to figure out the food, and I'm going to be talking to my mom tomorrow about what she's going to make. She'll probably make something yummy, and then she's also making the cake. And that's about it. So anything else that I need to update you guys on, I'm probably going to make a separate video as like the second planning video and then a third video actually showing you everything that we're setting up and how it's been going. And once it's done, I'll go ahead and link them down below so you guys can see kind of the progression of the baby shower planning and how everything is coming out. And if you have any questions or ideas, let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.